Hi, Dave Cook here again. Uh, this time I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of masonry power tools. Um, the masonry power tools are used primarily for cutting, drilling, shaping, and chipping. Um, one of the smallest tools that we use is, is a 5 inch grinder with a diamond blade on it. And there's little bits of diamond impregnated into this blade and it will cut through stone or slate or brick or, or whatever. Um, it's, it's fairly handy and uh, uh, is very versatile. We also use a bigger grinder um, and we can also put a diamond blade on this one. This, this blade is actually a, not a blade, but a, uh, a cup blade, a cup brush. Um, and it's used for flattening and, and grinding down high spots. Um, we end up having to use a lot of, of anchors and fastenings. And for that, you need to have a roto hammer. Now, what a roto hammer is is a drill um, that that turns and also impacts forward in a hammering motion. Um, it has a carbide tip on the uh, bit, and it's able to drill holes in stone, concrete, or brick. Uh, and and it will drill holes from three sixteenths to three inches. Um, this is a small one, and it has a capacity up to about one inch. This is a large rotor hammer, and uh, same same thing. It, it, it spins and hammers, and it'll drill up to a capacity to, to about two inches. Um, there are times in doing masonry when things go horribly wrong, and then you need a tool like this, and this is called a demo hammer, and this is basically a handheld jackhammer, and it corrects uh, mistakes. Hopefully, we don't use that very often, but there are times we do. Um, one of the main things that we have to do in, in, in building with masonry is, is to cut and shape stones. Um, there are any number of tools that do that. Uh, they all utilize um, a, a diamond blade. As you can see here, the segment here is, is impregnated with diamonds. This is actually a, a, a gas saw. It's, a, 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 it, it's derived from a chainsaw. Uh, and it spins a, a diamond blade, and it has a water attachment um, that uh, allows you, if you look at here, you can hook a hose up to it, and it'll, it'll, it'll spray water on the side as you're, as you're going, which both cools the diamond blade and keeps the dust out. Uh, there are certain times when we're doing uh, cutting that we're in an interior situation, and we need to use an electric saw. And so this one is the same sort of saw like that, but it doesn't have a gas engine, it has an electric, electric motor, and it does the same sort of thing. Uh, there's a lot of cutting to be doing. Um, we, we use a, a, a masonry saw, and, and, and that's a saw like this that has a large motor. This, this one's a 220 motor, 5 horsepower. Uh, it has water jets on both sides, and it has both a foot pedal and a hand pedal, and it, will, it would be the saw that you'd use to cut through blocks. Uh, the last piece of equipment that's, that's important uh, or critical to, to a masonry uh, project is a mortar mixer. Uh, now, unlike a cement mixer, um, th this mixer has blades in it that spin around. And so these blades spin around and they, they mix up a combination of sand, Portland cement, and lime to create mortar. Um, and once you have your mortar in your mixer, you dump it into your wheelbarrow and you take it to your job site. Um, you know, the other, the other things that, that work well with this thing are a mortar hoe, and uh, it's, a, it's a hoe with, with holes in it, and it's used to temper the mortar and, and keep it in the right consistency. Um, and, and, the, and the last piece of equipment that everybody knows is a shovel, and it's used for moving the mortar from one place to the other.